Welcome back, this is Yamachak, and we're here with Zed Landing, Hell on Earth. It's a great time. It's the best of times. Not in real life, mind you, these are the worst of times, but uh, in Killing Floor 2, these are pretty good times. That's not how you throw a nade. <laughs> That's, that is definitely the wrong way to throw a nade. Oops. Oopsie daisy. It's okay. We don't we don't need to throw nades the right way to, to survive and thrive. We only need to throw nades the wrong way. And then occasionally die because of it. Have we died because of a poorly times nade throw? I don't actually know. I don't know if we've died because of a poorly poorly thrown nade. I'm not sure. I think that we might have died because of one, but have we died, like, literally, has it killed me before? I'm not sure. I, I'm, I'm sure that there has to be moments where I've, I've thrown a nade wrong, and, uh... So I know it happens. I know, I know, okay, definitely it has happened to me personally. Um, I just don't know if it's happened in the series, where I've thrown a nade, and, uh, it has killed me. Um, like, straight up, basically. I don't know if it's happened in the series, though. And I don't know if we've even thrown a nade that has indirectly killed us, either. Yo, I had this one game I was playing earlier. Not earlier. Like, earlier? But, like, earlier, like, last week. Um, it was an endless run. We were playing on... What was the map? Ah. Uh... Nuked, maybe? Or... Vulture Manor? Vol it was on Vulture Manor, I think. Anyway, it was on some map. And at some point in time, the, uh... We got a boom. Uh, a boom. Like, wave? So we had to, to contend with that. I was getting chased by a bunch of Zeds. So I tossed a nade behind me. As you do, perfect nade. Throw up behind me, it goes back, I move forward a bit, all the Zeds blow up. Beautiful moment, beautiful moment. Um, it was gonna be, it was gonna be a beautiful moment. It was on Spillway, by the way. Uh, it was in that, uh, that's actually how we died in that, uh, that, the Dosh Yeet video. That's how, uh, that's how we died. I died to, uh, to the boom wave there, and then somebody else died because of, uh, like a flesh crown wave or something like that. Um, or I guess we got carried on that one because we had this. Yeah, we had a demo, and he he killed the boom. Anyway, I tossed the nade behind me. Perfect throw. Was gonna blow up all the zeds behind me. It was gonna be epic. It was gonna be epic, as the kids say. Okay. Oh my god, we're not losing again. You get out of here. Okay. <laughs> Two shots, four kills? Heck yeah. Um, it's gonna be an epic nade throw. So anyway, right after I throw the nade, a trapper, an EDAR trapper grabs me. And a bunch of Zeds flood in front of it into the laser. I can't shoot the EDAR. The nade is like right behind me. All of the Zeds explode right in my face and I die. And I'm like... Wow. Wow. <laughs> That trapper, you you couldn't have like you you couldn't have possibly constructed a worse moment for a trapper to trap somebody. You you can't you can't like that's it was uh, it was real bad and uh, that definitely resulted in me dying, obviously, because um, this trapper trapped me right on top of my nade, surrounded by a bunch of Zeds, which I was trying to escape, which I was nading to get away from. Um, and then they all exploded on me. And I was like, wow. I was, I was mad about that one. I was salty about that one. That one was, that one hurt. That one really hurt. Uh, we have enough health to jump off of this, yes? Yeah, you take 20 health from that. Okay, that's good to know. I knew that I'd be able to survive it. I didn't know if it was like a 20 health thing or a 30 health thing or... 50 health thing. 
I knew it wasn't an 82 health thing, but I'm like, I don't know. Maybe we'll survive with like 15 health? <laughs> no, we, 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 we survived very handily. Um, so that was, that was a really frustrating death when that happened. Cause like, ugh. So anyway, I hate the trappers. And I, uh, and I'm wondering if I've ever done that to myself on video. There's a lot of great moments from that endless run that I just forgot to, to hit the, the recording thing on. So I didn't end up having them to upload. I wish I had more clips. Cause I've got, uh, the NVIDIA thingy. So I can like record the last five minutes. I just hit Alt F10 and it records the last five minutes of my voice and the game audio. And then I can go in and edit it all and all that. That's all nice and fine and dandy and all that. Um, I wish I had recorded more because there was there were some more good moments. Like that would have been a good one to, to record. That could have been fun. Um, there was a lot more of like dosh eating that happened that I just forgot to, I don't know. I was going to like show off the first one and then I hit Alt F10 on a couple of others, but I didn't intend to make a video of it when I did. And then I ended up making a video on it, so, you know. Uh, hindsight 2020. I want to get into the habit of hitting F, uh, Alt F10 every time something cool happens. Just so that I have clips of like everything. And then I can go in and make like little highlight reels. Because that was a fun thing to make. It didn't perform very well. But it was fun to make. I also, I've made like a clickbaity thumbnail on that with a circle. The text was too small to read, I think. Um, which is why I performed poorly. Or my joke was just not funny. You know, I'm not, I'm not, you know, so cocky that I think my joke has to be funny. It could have also just been an unfunny joke. Um, but I put the, the really bad circle around the, the, uh, the dosh that was like sticking out of the ceiling. And then I, uh, I wrote in text, it's not clickbait if it's not actually a circle, right? But I guess it was just too small to be written. Written? Read? To be read? Uh, so nobody nobody got it and people were mad at the clickbait when I posted it to the subreddit. I'm guessing is why it performed poorly. Because it got downvoted real quick. And uh, I was expecting it to get upvoted. Because it was, it was pretty good content for the subreddit, I think. But, hey. They didn't like it, so I just deleted it. It's fine. I mean, the video's still there, but I deleted it off the subreddit. Um, I might change the thumbnail on it, but I don't think I will. I'll, le I'll leave it as a memento. And uh, a memory of, of times past, you know? It's all good. It's all good. Um, See, so yeah, I just want to say that I'm not doing clickbait thumbnails or anything like that with the, the circles. It was a joke about the clickbait thumbnails it was supposed to be uh, a parody, and then it just it wasn't the text wasn't big enough to be clearly uh, visible, and that really uh, messed up the whole thing. So yeah. Anyway, we got a bunch of new subscribers. I'm hoping all y'all are watching. That's pretty cool. There's so many of y'all. None of y'all are commenting though. You know, that's the that's the thing. Right? That's what it really boils down to. Y'all are watching. My watch time has actually like skyrocketed the past week. It used to be much lower and now it's much higher. I don't know what of this stuff I'm allowed to talk about, so I'm not giving you exact numbers on any of it. Um, but it used to be much lower and now it's much higher. So that's pretty good. That's real good. I'm liking that. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. I'm taking you out with the M1911 because I just want to. Okay, you're getting taken out with the Eagles because there are enraged Scrakes for some reason. Why do you get to do that? Why do you get to enrage the Scrake? Enraging the Scrake is my job. Okay, we have the Scrake right on top of us right now. We really gotta... Gotta move. Okay, toss a nade. Classic nade. Did it hit the uh, Scrake? Did I stun him? No, he's like way back there still. Goodness gracious. Hello, buddy. You prepared to die? Good, because you are. You are dying. 
That's, uh, that's really what your life boils down to at this point, is just death, despair, hatred, antagonism. Okay, I guess that goes for me too. I guess that goes for me too. What am I supposed to do there? You know? Be more accurate? Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. You, you do raise a good point there. That is, that is a good point. Uh, we're going to play Verticality. Verticality is a fun map. I like this map. It's a little bit quicker. I don't have my water next to me, so I'm going to have to go and get that after this episode. But hey, you know. I'm still thinking about how to record the RuneScape 3 series. I don't know how to format it. I want to upload, because like, there's, it's a similar thing, right, with RuneScape 3 as Killing Floor. Is there isn't really anybody who just makes content for the sake of making content. Right? I mean, Mr. Adelaide OS is kind of there, but he's kind of died off at this point. Like, he has like 250 or 300 episodes or something like that. Like, that's what I like watching, personally. And I like producing the content that I like watching, right? Um, so, there's there's nobody that just produces content, that just goes and has fun and, and makes a video about him having fun. Um, people don't really do that. And uh, that was why I started this Killing for Two series, is for a similar reason, because there isn't really a bun like a person who makes consistent YouTube videos like all the time. And I want it to be that. And for RuneScape 3, I kind of want to be the same thing, but like it's it's a different game entirely, so I can't really just hop into like a RuneScape 3 and play for 20 minutes and upload a 20 minute video. Like there is editing that has to be done. Uh, and I'm not sure the logistics of that. How to make it happen, and then have uh, like a good video at the end. I'm not sure how to make that happen. I don't like editing. And I'm not getting paid for this, so I don't want to do editing. I want to have fun, and uh, that's not fun. So I want to figure out a way to make it work that is fun. Oh goodness, I hit my. There we go. I want to make. Uh... I don't know. Give me money. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll make better videos. That's really the moral of the story. Money is the key to, to everything, right? Not really. I mean, it's key to a lot of things. I don't know. People say that money can't buy happiness, but you know what makes me happy? Not worrying about my bills. <laughs> uh, eating. That, that makes me happy. Um, video games? They make me happy. Having a new car, that would make me happy. These things all cost money, so I mean, people say money can't bring you happiness, but it kind of can. Those people are lying. I think that the better way to put it is um, the money won't fix your depression. If you're depressed, you're probably going to be depressed. See ya. <laughs> If you're depressed, you're probably still going to be depressed even if you have a billion dollars. But if you're just like, man, I'm really poor and like, I wish I wasn't. And people are like, well, money's not going to buy you happiness. And it's like, well, it's not, maybe not happiness, but like prosperity, <laughs> you know? And uh, happiness tends to come with prosperity, so um, hey. It's a... Uh, it's a point of stress because you can't argue that, uh, I don't know what we're really talking about at this point, but you can't argue that um, not having money is stressful, right? Like if you don't have money, you, you have to worry about how are you going to eat and how are you going to feed yourself and those are the same thing. I have enough money to get by at this point, especially with COVID because the government's really treating us well. Um, I don't know how it's going to go from now on, because technically we're able to go back to work. I don't know, am I expected to? I'm not going back to work, so... Who knows if we are supposed to, but... Um, I have I have enough money to survive. But, like, not enough to go live on my own, right? If I had money, then I wouldn't have to, to continue living in my parents' house. Um, and living here is definitely a, a point of stress for me, so... You know, my money, money won't immediately bring you happiness if you if you get a billion dollars you're not just going to be like the happiest person in the world um you might be for like a bit but then you're going to realize that 
yeah, you have a billion dollars, but like, ultimately, you still don't, like, you, you still have all those same, like, mental problems. You still have all the same, like, depression and all that kind of stuff. So, like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's disingenuous to say that money can't buy you happiness and just completely remove money from the equation as being something that can bring you happiness. But it's also disingenuous to say that money will definitely just solve all your problems, because it won't. And it's disingenuous to say that those people don't know what they're talking about, because, like, to a certain extent, they do, you know? Like, there there are problems that can be solved with money, but not all problems can be solved with money. You're not gonna... You're not gonna make friends by having, like, a billion dollars. You might have an easier time making friends just because you don't have to, like, work 24-7. You can actually, like, start spending time doing things that you have fun with and meet people who have like-minded interests, you know? Which is definitely a, a something that could bring you happiness, but I don't know. It's like people just want to tout the money can't buy you happiness, and then not understand that like it can remove stress, and that's kind of the same thing as bringing happiness, right? And a lot of people say, like, oh, well, a yacht would make me really happy. And, like, okay, sure, but, you know, it would make you even more happy than that? Never having to worry about paying, like, rent again? <laughs> that sounds pretty sweet. Alright, let's get uh, this upgraded. Get this upgraded. Fill up. And we're off to the races. Let's go. So, moral of the story is, uh, of course... Give me all of your money. I want to set up a Patreon. But then I also don't. Because it feels like kind of sellouty. To, to set it up at this point feels feels very sellouty. Um, it's too early to set up. See ya. It's too early in my opinion to set up a Patreon. I don't know who's going to be giving me money. Like people are barely commenting on my videos. And most people who are are like you know, friends of mine anyway. So like, who's who's gonna give me money really? I don't I don't have people who who are that interested in my content. I don't think. Um, look at that head tracing. Beautiful job. Beautiful job. See ya. Get out of here. Did there just get a thingy? Yeah, there was a crawler. See ya. Why are there so many Edars on this wave? What the heck? It's just like Edar after Edar after Edar. I can't handle it. It's just too many Edars. I did not agree to these terms and conditions. Man, this is a, a little bit swarmy at this point. A little bit overwhelming. Sorry for the commentary. I think we're we're set at this point, though. <laughs> um, I don't know. I've been thinking about how to monetize YouTube recently, because I am getting enough views that I probably, honestly, be able to make not a lot, but like just based on what I was used to be making from the um, the few videos that I had and the few views that I have. I think that. Uh, I'd probably be making somewhere in the like ten to fifteen dollars a month right now if they were letting me put AdSense in my videos, which is like, yo, <laughs> I'll take I'll take that right like that's pretty good, um, but you can't anymore. And that's maybe a little upset. Not that like five to ten bucks is a lot, but like, it would, it would just feel good to be making money from it, you know, just as a. Like motivational thing. It's it's nice to be to be making money from something that you're doing. So Hans on Hell and Earth is actually a lot tankier than Hans on Suicidal. He has significantly more health, and his shields are much 
much, much stronger. Oh, I, I didn't know he moved. I was like shooting up where his head used to be, and he was not there anymore. We, we do have, we should still be able to like burst him down pretty quickly with the deagles though. Because he like runs away and then does this kind of garbage and then instantly gets up because reasons. Animation for that wasn't done. I guess they didn't expect you to be able to burst him down that quickly. Meanwhile, I am just too good at this game. I'm better than the devs ever thought anybody could be. That's that's really the moral of the story that I'm learning here, right? Where are you? Buddy. See ya. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that, look at that. Nice. Washed his leg off? I shot his leg? Really? Okay. Oops, that's the wrong button. What button do I want to hit? This one? This one. Yeah. That was my G spam button. Not my not my B spam button. I have a G spam button so that um, when I want to throw a lot of nades, I can do that. It's mostly for when I did uh, some perk leveling for survivalist. <laughs> I wanted survivalist at 25. I did a lot of perk leveling, like on perk leveling maps, for um, getting my perks to 25 the first time, just to be able to, or at least up to like 15, just to be able to start playing with them. You know, um, and then after I've prestiged, I've, I always train them legit. Because if I'm gonna prestige, then I'm gonna do it legit, right? Like, you don't you don't prestige and get all that bonus points just for, and then just perk level. Like, you gotta yeah, actually work through it. But for the first one, I wanted to to try it. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time. Bye bye. Oh yeah, I gotta hit the button.